Hi, welcome back to my channel. This video is kind of at a weird angle because I have my boom arm on my puzzle table because I'm hoping that I can flip my camera around. I'm on my iPad. I've never done that before. So if I can't flip it, I will talk to you here. I may shut the video off and then make another one and connect the videos, but I think I can flip it. But I wanted to talk to you face to face first to tell you what this video is about. This is Robin Loves Reading, which is an extension of my blog. And I did, made this channel in order to do things that I do with my blog, like book reviews, wrap ups, hauls, to be read, challenges and things like that. And I failed in that endeavor, but the vlog is great. It's going forward not having any issues with it so all I can do with this channel is let you know what's going on with my activities this activity is a new one and it's jigsaw puzzles I grew up doing jigsaw puzzles I fell in love with them but I had kids so I didn't do puzzles kids got older I did puzzles then I stopped and I started and I stopped so it's been five six maybe even seven years since I've done a jigsaw puzzle. So, so far I've done five, four or five, I think maybe just four. And so the one I'm working on now, and I'm going to step out of frame because I, no, actually I don't have, oh well, yeah, let me grab the box. It's right here, so let me just see if I can get it and sit back up. Yeah, I was able to do that, so let me get back. My printer's behind me and it has some papers. The family can print uh, from their devices and laptops, so both printers have paper sticking out of them because they didn't retrieve their print jobs yet. This is the puzzle I'm currently working on. Let me, get, let me just move this notification so I can see that you've got the whole thing. And I think my friend Michelle kind of wanted this puzzle too. So this is what I'm working on. And I just started it. And... I'm going to tap this to see if I can flip my camera and let's see. Okay, I can't. So we're going to stop here. I will make the next video and I just edit them in together. So thank you and I'll be right back. Okay, weird angle, but this is an iPad, not a camera. And until I buy a camera, I can't really show you my puzzles, but I just want to show you something. This here is a puzzle tray. I'm just trying to get as much of it in the frame as I can. I'm going to turn this backwards and I'm going to go here. And so what I do is I sort it into the individual trays. And then as I start to separate the pieces, I use these blue trays. So I put them in frame. And so right now in the blue tray, I have the edge pieces and I'm going to put that together tonight. And I'm going to stop this messy display and go back to the other video. Okay, if that worked, you got a, sneak, a little peek at my puzzle tray uh, keeper on top of my uh, card table. And when I get a camera, I really want to show you the process of me solving a puzzle. But camera's not a priority. Um, my reading and my blog and my mental health right now are the priorities. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about really briefly is that I've joined a few jigsaw puzzle related groups. The very first puzzle, uh, puzzle, the very first group I want to talk about is Diamond and Puzzles. And that's a group that Michelle Bloodworth started, and we kind of started it together, but I want to give her full credit for it because it was her idea. So that is Diamond and Diamonds and Puzzles. So if you're interested in diamond painting or jigsaw puzzles or both, you're welcome to join the group, and the link will be in the description box below. Other groups that I found on Facebook is Disney Puzzle Maniacs. I should have grabbed them, but I have a couple of Disney puzzles already and maybe a couple more coming in the mail. No, I think I have one in, and then I have two coming. Not in the mail, but from Amazon. So that's Dizzy Puzzle Maniacs. And again, the description will be, uh, the, the link will be in the description below. Another group on Facebook I wanted to mention is Puzzle Junkies. 
And um, I love that because uh, this, the puzzle, the pictures that they show of the puzzles they complete are amazing. And these are people that are doing 2,000 and I've even seen a 5,000 piece puzzle. I've seen some, oh, what are they called? Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm, my frame of thought is gone. But the puzzles that, the 3D puzzles. I've seen some gorgeous 3D puzzles. And I've seen some wood puzzles. I've seen some shape puzzles. So the Puzzle Junkies group is really, really good. Another good book that group that does the same thing with the, all the different puzzles being displayed and suggestions and ideas is Jigsaw Puzzle Enthusiasts. And I need to grab my phone because I also... Oh, and that Jigsaw Puzzle Enthusiasts will be in the link below. And I just want to make sure I didn't make a mistake in my notes because, um, yes, there is Puzzle Junkies, but I had to check my notes because I want to make sure I'm right. Let me see if there's Puzzle Junkie. Okay, there is Puzzle Junkie. I'm not in that. That book is Jigsaw Junkies. That's the one I said with all the various uh, puzzles that are new to me, the shape puzzles, the wooden puzzles, and a couple other different puzzles. So I apologize for that flub, but you know, I just joined these groups a couple of days ago and I made a boo-boo. Yeah, Puzzle Junkies is defunct. I don't think people have posted there for a couple of, no, some people are posting, barely. So I'm not going to join that group. That's it. Short video. It's only what, 3 minutes and 30 seconds, but I just wanted to tell you about my puzzles. And, um, oh, let me show you something else while we're here. I glued one puzzle together. I don't think I can show you on, you know, all at once. Look at that. My lighthouse puzzle. It's all glued. Look at me. I can hang, man handle it if I want to. I ordered something on Amazon in order to hang it, and it will be here on Friday. Um, so I'm glad to show you that. I um, I think I'm going to shut the video off, grab all my new puzzles, because I'm excited that I have some. And I will link that video to this one. So I'll be back. Bye. Okay, let's do this. I have never connected videos together before. So if this doesn't work, I'll make a brand new video tomorrow. It is now late on Tuesday night. But before I go on, when I was getting the puzzles, I remembered something important. Another group that I joined on Facebook is Jigsaw Puzzles for Sale or Swap. And that will also be in the description below. Now, catch my breath a little because I dropped a couple puzzles and I had to bend over and pick them up. And I have something wrong with my heart, so getting out of breath is super easy. Okay. In the, I was watching a live stream tonight and I have my phone right next to me and I saw a notification for the puzzle swap and sale group. So I clicked over to it. I'm still moderating the stream and enjoying the stream, but I clicked over to this other link and this lady had, I think nine, nine, ten, she had 11 lots for sale. Some of them were 2,000, even 3,000 pieces. Some were shaped puzzles, some were wooden puzzles. So I wasn't interested in that and I kept going down and down. And I found three lots that I liked. So we communicated in Messenger. And not only did I buy those lots from her, but as she was filling her box, she made sure to fill it. So I got an extra puzzle or two and she said she will look through her puzzles now that she kind of knows what I like. And I chose a lot of Charles Wysocki puzzle pu puzzles. I'm sorry, I stumbled on that. I chose some Charles Wysocki puzzles, so which I don't believe I have any. I may have one. I'll check in a minute as I start to show you what I have. But I have ordered several, so therefore um, she's going to go through her stash tonight or tomorrow. And she said she will sell me those puzzles for the cost of shipping. So I've got that box of puzzles coming. And I believe I have five more coming from Amazon. 
So let me tell you my puzzle story. As I mentioned earlier, I kept going on puzzle breaks. And this whole time I was on a puzzle break in my bookshelf, on my bookshelf in my bedroom, I had two puzzles unopened. This looks a little messy, but you can see it's still sealed. sealed. But, you know, it's just getting beat up because it's been around for years. And it's an old Big Ben puzzle for a th with a thousand pieces. And these were pretty much the only puzzles out for decades. So I love this puzzle, but I haven't obviously opened it yet. This is a puzzle that I've had for a very, very long time. I'm going to stack them on the floor as I tell you about them. This puzzle here, my husband bought me at the guy at the hospital about seven or eight years ago, but I never did it. I hope I'm showing, yes, I am showing it to you at the right orientation. And this is an equal puzzle. I love this puzzle, but it was difficult. The next puzzle I want to tell you about, where is it? Did I leave it in the other room? Let me see. Oh, no, I have it. My daughter gave this to me. Her and her fiancé solved this puzzle. She said it took them a few weeks, maybe a month. But this was my first puzzle that I did. I did not glue it because it's really not mine. Who knows if she may have worn it back. But it's the wolves and I think um, a day and a half. No, I think it took a few days. But I love this. That was my first puzzle since I started puzzling again. Then I started buying puzzles on Amazon. And... This is what the, the uh, most of the all pretty much. Let's see. Let, let me show you the ones that I've done. If I, okay, yeah. So you see the white house puzzle here. That there's an ex, there was an extra piece in this puzzle. Um, I didn't. Oh, I did do another puzzle, but I sent it back because there was a piece missing, and I got my money back. So that's that puzzle. Then I have this one here. Look at that. Gorgeous. I saw a puzzle like this. There are several versions of it, but I saw this on YouTube. So I had to have this. I was going to make this puzzle my next puzzle, but the cat's puzzle came a few days ago, a couple of days ago. So I did um, so this will probably be done after the cats. Or depending on all the puzzles come in the mail, who knows? And I started, I may have started to show you this one. Another pretty, pretty puzzle. So you kind of know what I like. I do have a wish list if anybody's interested. And then I have my first Disney puzzle. And, oh, I should have kept my coloring book. I did this picture from the King Thomas Kincaid Disney book um, when I was coloring. And I did it according to the inspiration picture. And my picture it comes very, very, very close to this because I use luminance pencils, especially for the clouds. And the way luminances are, they blend so well. So I was able to replicate the clouds. And then, this was one of the first ones I saw. And this was in my cart for a minute, but I finally bought it. Loved this one. When I started looking, I grabbed this one. Another early puzzle that I saw that I liked, of course I haven't done any of these, is this one. Very similar to the one I just showed you, but gorgeous nonetheless. And then I got a Ravensburger puzzle. Now, before I show you this, I saw, and I am going to tell you about another channel in a minute. And, but I saw in a channel that Ravensburger loves big boxes. So I haven't opened this yet. But if I, no, I don't have my scissors in here. This, yeah, I'm able to open it fingernails are, are there. Let's see why the Ravensburger puzzles are in such big boxes. And as I'm opening the, this, let me tell you about another channel I'll put in the link below and that's uh, Karen Puzzles. I learned so much from her. She's a young lady that is a real puzzle enthusiast. I think she represents Every, and is sponsored by every puzzle company out there, probably even including Ravensburger. So let's open this bad boy up and see why a thousand piece puzzle has to be in a box this big. Let's do this. Oh, did I show it to you first? Let's show it to you one more time before. Yeah, I don't know. I may. 
So I'm gonna lean forward a little to put this on the table so I don't drop anything. Struggling to get it out of the box. Oh, there's a little bit more plastic, that's why. Okay, let's get rid of plastic. Why? Karen Puzzles warned me that Ravens, look at this. It's, it's in the bag just like every other puzzle. So yeah, they like blue boxes, I guess. Oh, I love it, it's got a catalog, yay. Glad I opened it on camera. I'm gonna look at this tonight. And this, I guess, tells me a little bit about their company. They are so popular that, look at all the languages they talk about. So I'm glad I opened this on camera. So it's my first Ravensburger puzzle. I'm not even gonna put the catalog back in it. I am gonna be slobbering over that. Oops, that was the box, not me. Okay, that's my puzzle experience. I think I made four videos, so I will edit them and uh, make it all into one big video. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for letting me share my new hobby. There's two more hobbies I'm going to be doing, and I'm still planning. So we got reading, we got planning, we have jigsaw puzzles, and there's going to be two more hobbies. One will be here tomorrow, so you might see a video about that. And the other one, I need one of my daughters to take me to a store to get certain things. And when I do that, I'll tell you about that one. And I guess that's it. Thank you. Bye-bye.